Welcome back to Star Fox 64. We rescued Slippy, it's time to head straight to Venom. Oh no, there's a thing in the way. <laughs> oh. I see the shopping mall. Even though this is still the easy route, this level was a massive pain when I was a kid. Oh, it's not easy. Destroy the satellite, we can go straight. Satellite? Be careful, Fox. I'm on it. What if what if I go around it? Take out the satellite and save us from Venom! Okay. <laughs> okay guys, you got it, Chief. Okay. So this is why Bulse is weird. The satellite is moving on its own underneath me. And it's not until I take out the defensive barriers, which you can find, just the electricity is heading right towards it. Until you do that, you're going to be fighting the pull of the satellite the entire time. I'll cover you, Fox. Yeah, that's so weird because it's like it's spinning at like the exact speed that you fly. So if you turn around, it's like you're staying still. You're Just about, yeah. It is good to remember the turrets that are protecting the energy towers because those are where the gold rings are. And also they count as enemies, so they're good to kill. Your team will be focused on trying to get the little fighters on the other hand. Yeah. So you have to do everything, naturally. And the fighters are shielded, so they're not going to kill any of them. <laughs> Except that one. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> wow, we are not doing anything, guys. Oh, we don't want that. I might not have seen that, actually. I could use the double laser. They don't give up. God, well, <laughs> if only there was something we could do. What is this button that says laser do? <laughs> What's taking so long, Fox? What's taking so long, Star Fox? What the fuck are you guys doing? I'm over here combing my feathers in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, just combing the old feathers <laughs> during this magnetic polarity that's ruining my soul. Alright, now we take on the enemies. And this is another one of those times where kill all the enemies and really don't let your allies kill any of them either. For a second, I thought you were going to say don't let go. <laughs> <laughs> kill your enemies and don't let go. Just don't let go. <laughs> don't let go of hope, Thord. You need it. It's all you've got. After a little while, the core appears, and you need to destroy those yellow bits, and you need to kill them quickly. It kind of counts as a boss character, and the quicker you kill it, the more bonus points you get. Like, as soon as it shows up, you get plus ten bonuses, and you kind of need those points. If you don't do it quickly enough, you kind of need to have come from an alternate route in order to get the medal. You need 150. And there's not enough regular fighter planes to take care of that if you take too long. And they love going after Slippy on this level. I just realized this game would be great with an arcade stick or like an arcade pad because it would give you so much more ability to like press the fire button extremely fucking quickly. There's nothing chasing you! <laughs> Funny you say that, Jacob. That's actually a good thing to note. I think there is an N64 battle pad of sorts. Like, arcade stick. Oh no! Oh no, what? Okay, there's one guy. <laughs> okay. Fox! Fox! What is it, Slippy? I'm lonely. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, cool, but, like, we're getting shot at right now, so... Fox! What? I love you. Communications has uh, gone wrong. I can't. <laughs> Sorry. What? What? Sorry, I'm in a tunnel, Slippy. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, look, a wormhole. I'm going to check that out real quick. <laughs> Here I go. Since there's only one thing you can do after bulls, there's no medium route you can go on. You go straight to easy venom. Venom, here we come. Even though we could have just went there anyway. It was a protecting satellite. We need to get rid of it. Yeah, we actually need to. 
But let's say you came here if you led Fortuna blow up and you didn't kill Star Wolf. After a few of the enemies, all of the members of Star Wolf you didn't kill show up. Yeah, I was about to say, like, was this something else supposed to happen? I didn't want to spoil it. <laughs> I think of the implication that they don't care about their own teammates and they just want to die. This also happens if you've come to Bulls from the medium route. At which point, you probably didn't fight Star Wolf, so all four members of them will show up. And this is a really easy way to get the medals, because once again, they all count as 11 points, because it's the kill plus the 10 bonus points. So, pretty easy. Where are you? Oh, he's behind me. <laughs> it looks like I'll be the one going to JCPenney's stuff, son of a bitch! Wait, that wasn't me. I'm fine! <laughs> I felt bad for him. <laughs> okay, there I go. Well, so long, folks. Remember me as I was. A wolf. Dying. Yes. A dying wolf. I was going to say hands a handsomely dead wolf. A handsome dying wolf. Oh boy, look at all these enemies. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> no matter how well you do on this level, you're probably not going to get the medal for Venom on easy. I think you need 200. There's a much easier way to do that if you come from the hard path. So just kill to protect yourself. And don't shoot Falco. <laughs> Unless you want to. Yeah, you know, uh, Fox, I'm guy, I got the suspicion that you got something you want to say to me. Not really. He shoots him again. Well, all right. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I believe you now. <laughs> Man, uh, uh, oh. Trigger finger, sorry. Don't question why I shot all my teammates just now. Slippy with the smack talk. Okay, you f you literally flew in my direction. That was your fault. Yeah. I'm gonna take the route with Peppy on the medium route. There's no medium venom. Depending on the level before venom, that dictates whether you go to easy or hard. I think Falco's paths are generally the tougher ones. Because he always goes where the action is. Get in there! Oh. <laughs> no, we'll crash and die. Location. There's a hole. You can go in there and be like... <laughs> like, land where all the enemies are, like, preparing. Oh, uh, hey guys. Um, how's it hanging? Oh, this is weird. Venom has some interesting things that happen. Yeah, for example, Tetris puzzles don't work the way they should. Oh! Oh! oh. Sorry! Oh, God! It's all right. I also lost my arm, so this is interesting. <laughs> this brings back memories of your dad. He also crashed here. <laughs> Fox looks at, like, the health of his ship. Is this really the best time? Like... So this is cool. Andros hacked our communications. I'm, I'm not feeling it anymore, guys. <laughs> you know, I, I'm really discouraged all of a sudden since Peppy decided to talk about my dad while my ship is literally on its end. This is pretty cool. None of this happens on hard mode. Really? Thank God another wing. <laughs> This guy's weird. You gotta shoot off all of the rock parts of his body. And reveal the tasty metal center. Yummy. And you don't want to get too close, yeah, because he pulls out these pillars right behind him. And Slippy took his damn time getting the shield up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like you don't even need it, no. Wow, energy shows here he doesn't have a lot of health at all. Oh, wait. Yeah, gee, thanks. I could have figured that one out. Oh, boy. Bonk. <laughs> I overcompensated. <laughs> Do the monkey. No. The head's right there. You can't shoot it until all the other parts are gone. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, my instincts say shut the fuck up. 
What if they had like a mechanic where like Peppy like laughs during his lines if you crash while he speaks? Trust, trust your instincts. You a jerk. <laughs> you know, this reminds me a lot of your dad. He kind of went out the same way. <laughs> Peppy does talk an uncomfortable amount to Fox about his dead dad. I want you to remember him like I did, grieving. Booga booga booga. <laughs> and there goes the temple, I guess. I'll go it alone from here. Why? Why? Because I don't. I feel like it. That's why. I feel like there was a. This is one of the many missed opportunities of Star Fox as a whole. Fox doesn't have that much personality. I wanted to retry to get a better score if I could, but unfortunately. When you retry it here, you just go straight to here. So I that was pointless. You, well, you gave yourself more health, actually. <laughs> and it took you 12 tries to beat Andros. And if only you still had that 13th life. But Fox wants to get revenge on Andros for the death of his father. That's why he's going it alone. It's personal. But it doesn't come across that way. Yeah, Fox more or less comes off as like, this is a job I have to do, because I'm being paid for it. At least Andros is pulling his weight and making this dramatic. <laughs> and giving me full laser. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Monkey head. Blah! Better than the Phantom of the Opera shit. Andros is a really easy boss. Shoot him in the eyes a lot. He gets really annoyed, then shoot him in the hands, which are glowing. If you don't do that, he shoots a laser at you from his fingers. You want to shoot the, I guess, his left eye, the eye on the right from where you're facing. Because when you do that, it more presents the other hand, and then you can more easily shoot it. When he has no hands, he's going to suck in, in which case, shoot a bomb down his throat. And he does this, it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> then keep shooting him in the eye. It reveals he's actually a robot! Keep shooting him, because he's gonna fly right into you. That's kind of all he does at this point, so just keep shooting him in the eyes, and then he's down. You're starting to make, make me realize just how bad at this game I am. Did you have trouble with that? Yeah, because, like, at one point, I remember the first time I played through, I remember shooting him in the eye, but the second time, it took, like, for some reason, it didn't work at first. I guess I was missing. I didn't realize it. It's not until his hands are gone that the eyes actually do damage to him. It's just to distract him. Right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, I'll admit it. You did good, Fox. Maybe if you did great, I'd be happy. Yeah, I'll admit it. I ate your sandwich. Hey, I said it. Fuck, I said it. Thirteen lives, you say, Jacob. <laughs> well... You happen to get 20, you, you entered the 13 lives code b b between cuts, obviously. Because that boss was so hard. Credits time. Thanks, Shiggy. Good old Miyamoto. I wonder how many reviewers got that ending and stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Game too short. That actually is a good point. <laughs> what are you looking at, punk? I'm not sure if it's the emulator or this is how the camera was, I don't remember, but it keeps flying and cutting through the R-Wings. I think it was kind of like that. It's probably an emulator thing. I'm not looking at you. -da -da -da. I'm a frog snow globe. <laughs> I don't think he knows about the bomb in the engine. <laughs> that I put there is a joke. I've been waiting. I think it's about to go off. This is going to be really awkward. <laughs> I, I planted it back in Corneria and it didn't go off. So... I didn't expect him to get through this whole galaxy so quickly. <laughs> Literally a robot like just smacked him out of the air like, like a fly. He just went to a planet and it didn't go off. Maybe the slap made it a dud? Should we be worried? <laughs> <laughs> Should we just keep him at a distance? He's already in formation, right? Oh my god, the, the second bomb in his shoes. 
Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get that in there? All right, Falco had a really funny prank that one Saturday, but... Ah, uh, all the chickens that have fallen asleep now. <laughs> Since the Great Fox blocked the sun. <laughs> the ass of the Great Fox. <laughs> the building catches fire. <laughs> We're victory, uh, victory lap, so just calm down. Attention, Star Fox. The Great Fox does not have a landing gear. Please do not land. <laughs> Look at this pre-rendered background of all these guys that are clearly not there. Oh god, the bomb issue. I hope it doesn't go off here before we get paid. <laughs> Slippy's just telling every guard, I got a bomb in my shoe. I got a bomb in my shoe. Oh, <laughs> They're trying to put a bomb in my shoe. <laughs> They're so silly. I think I wouldn't find it. I request immediate transfer of Slippy. Great box is ready to go. What if you don't press right it's there? You don't. Now. It happens no matter what. It, it's automatic. Oh. I was going to say, ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Fox, I believe your phone is... I know. It, it's probably just a telemarketer. I don't want to pick it up. It's not one important. No, I think I just have tinnitus. <laughs> but I can hear it as well. I mean, I mean, when you look at my teammates, the, the amount of talking we all do and the constant times I get barrel rolling and crashing into walls. I kind of have something going on with my ears, so... <laughs> Slippy has just the worst run. If you pay attention, he actually falls behind. Yeah. I think that's a cute detail. <laughs> so we parked the Gray Fox really f Oh, it's getting away! At the bottom of a canyon. <laughs> Wait, if the Gray Fox is- where are we going? <laughs> Oh, damn. So the, I think the Great Fox is just leaving without them, and they're trying desperately to chase after it. Wait! All right, Falco, I'm going to throw you. Fly! I don't, <laughs> I don't do that! I don't do that! <laughs> Thanks, Super Mario Club. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Thank God for Ear Force. Slip a year frog, you can jump, right? I'm a toad! You could they can jump, right? <laughs> oh wait, never mind, we had our wings. We're good, we're good. I'm a little disappointed. You all know Leslie Swan. Yeah. Which we all probably recognize from the credits. She had nothing to do with this, but like her name was omnipresent in my childhood. <laughs> I'm almost disappointed she wasn't involved in this one. I guess they didn't have a Princess Peach-esque kind of character. Well, she she did more than that. Yeah, She I was know. in localization. Yeah, she was on the localization team, but that's what I remember seeing her for when I was a kid. So why are we flying directly towards the sun again? Oh no, Andros is still alive! That or the bomb finally went off. <laughs> <laughs> My nose. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah, you did great. I so badly want to put two S's at the end. T S N. Got to stay on brand. Yeah. Titty sauce nudes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jake. That sucks, Nathan. This is one steep bill, but it's worth it. All right, getting paid. All right, we got $54,000 cr credit. It looks like special dollars or something. <laughs> special dollars. <laughs> Space dollars. But that was the easy route for Star Fox 64. And even on the easy route, damn good time. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just a good old romp. Medium route is only like three planets, maybe four, but it always dovetails off into either the hard or the easy routes. So that's only going to be two parts, and then the hard route will be three parts, and then that will be the end of the LP. It's a pretty short game in all. I feel like even in a casual setting, like uh, if you like aren't super good at games, it would probably take you a little longer to beat. 
just because of difficulty already being kind of tough if you've never played like a game like this before. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Present company excluded, I mean. Except for Jacob. <laughs> You beat it though, so I did. I beat the I beat like the easy and then the easy to medium route. You gotta do the rest. <laughs> well, you can watch the hard route and then get all the good tips. Yeah, I'll actually know how to get to other stages. The only one that was plainly obvious to me was don't lose to Star Wolf in level three. Yeah, I mean some of the routes are obtuse, <laughs> as we will see next time when things get weird.